War of the Worlds chose the path of violence? Maybe they want harmony? I, what? Okay. Can I run back? This goes back. How many endings are there? Okay. Let's just, I'm just gonna hold down blue now. See if that does anything eventually. It might not do anything. Okay. Do anything else? So far, I, I chose to accept my fate with a with an offer, and then I held down the purple, and that's a violent option. There's other options though. Can I go anywhere? What if I go back? What if I run back? What happens? And get another like bad ending. Is there a true good ending here? I've let them all out, but like. I'm so confused. Why am I running back? To see if there's anything else. Any other way. Doesn't look like there is, though. Where does this go? Nowhere. Back where we started, right? Yeah, there's nothing here. So we're just gonna restart from checkpoint. Um, what if I do them all backwards? This red, blue, maybe. I don't know if they like that. Can you give me another one. Maybe they won't do anything until you do it right. There's gotta be more to this, right? I can't exactly do that one backwards because it's the same either way. Well, that was a good sign. They liked that, I think. They want me to do that one. What if I just did purple from the start? Is that still gonna be the violent option? Let's see, because they give me this house now. Well, what if I don't want it? Nothing. What if I do this? And then make that go away? And then stop doing it? Right? Like that happens. And I stop. I'm telling them no, I don't want that. Is that what I did? Oh, maybe that might be it. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing here, guys. 
If I don't get any answers soon, I might figure it out so we can all see what the cool ending is. Usually it's like two or three times. Okay, and the house is back. I said I don't want this house. doing anymore. Maybe there's only two endings, both of which are really disappointing if that's the case. Nothing? Nothing? Not doing anything? About that one. You guys gonna react to that one? You brought it back again? Now they're not even reacting, telling me what to do. They're just. Do you understand? I don't want. will do something. No? Okay, I will be right back once we figure out if there's anything else or if I'm wasting everyone's time by trying to find a different outcome, okay? Be right back. Okay, so, if you're still with me, I had to look it up because it's so obscure. There's no way I would have figured this out without looking it up. There is a way to figure it out in the game though. So this is your big spoiler warning. If you wanna go play it for yourself and figure out each ending for yourself, this is where I tell you that you should probably switch it off and then come back if you wanna see my reaction to the endings. I kinda of looked up how to do it um, so if you just want to see them, I'm going to do them both. I'm going to start with the first one and then I'll go on to the second one. Um, yeah, it's complicated though. And I, I'm, I'll explain it when we get to them. I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but apparently if you pay attention, somehow, if you pay attention in the game, you can get these ones, right? So this first one. You follow them the first time. So blue, red, blue. They do that. They get all excited that you're talking to them, I guess. Now here's where it varies. And I don't know why. I have no idea how you're supposed to know this, but you're supposed to do three blue. And that is supposed to pull up this pod. Then we do this. How do we? Come on. Come on, game. Where do I do it? It's blue. Man, this game. Not gonna lie, I'm enjoying it, but it's a little buggy, especially with some of these interactions. Like, how do I interact with this? What do I do? Am I missing something? What do I do here? You're supposed to interact with it, just like you did the other ones, right? And you can save them. Oh, do I do it this way? 
Do I have to do this? Come here. Hold my hands. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I'm trying. Please. There we go. Did that work? No. I guess I do need to interact with this thing, but it's not letting me. Come on. There we go. I had to press A on it. Oof. Oh, there's no turning back now. They took away the bridge. Oh, look at him. He looks so hurt from doing that. Come on, please. The last two ones I had to press the... There it is. So now we hold it down. Purple. Oh. you get this ending doing that you save them and at the cost of yourself chose family above all else and then there's one more and it's it's just like the other games where it's really hard to tell how to get this ending. But you, um, okay, I'm going to spoil it. So if you want to figure this out on your own, now's the time to um, pause, cut off, come back later, right? So how you figure out the actual good ending apparently is you first start by following their instructions for the first one. And then you're going to do a different code. Now this code... This code is interesting because to figure it out, you have to follow the uh, roly polies and see the code sequences that they do. And then you have to remember that and put it in here. So... Blue. But I was not going to... I wasn't going to go back and try and uh, do it again. I couldn't. They talk to you about what to do, like blue, blue, blue. You could listen to them, but we're not. Um, we're doing... I am curious if something different would happen if you uh, listen to their stuff, but I think that if you ever listen to exactly what they're doing, you'll end up just getting the house. done it and there they are it's my family let's 
gonna. But where are we? And now what, right? But we're together. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, look at that. Other people are running to get through the doors. We chose diplomacy. We talked to them, apparently, and they let us go. Now... There is a final thing, a final shot, or final scene right after the credits. I don't know what's in it. Um... So if you want to stick around for that, we're just going to chill. We're going to enjoy the music. I'll give you my impressions. Like, what did you guys think? I thought that the game did a really good job sharing the atmosphere. I thought it was really cool having that sort of story happening, but kind of in the background. I think it's a little... It's a little hard to understand, but I don't put too much... Um, criticism on that because it's from like the makers of Inside or at least one of the developers I believe from Inside and I think Limbo as well worked on this game and if you've watched those or played those games you know that they kind of have that um, the abstract to them a lot of abstract and they leave a lot up to the imagination and that's what makes those games cool so I'm not going to sit here and criticize the game for that um, I will say that technically the game definitely had its struggles uh, it's not 100% polished in the interactions um, and how things click together. And there was a lot of times where I sat there wondering, is this because I'm not understanding the puzzle or is the puzzle just not working? And then because of how vague some of the puzzles are, it was hard to really tell. I felt like I kind of got it by the end when I really understood all the puzzles and I could be like, oh yeah, this is the puzzle. This is how it's supposed to go. And it's just not working. So I got to keep trying to make it work and that's that's a really big bummer for a puzzle game because when you're doing it right and it's not working you feel like something's off and then you just sit there wandering around wondering what you did wrong so it's like uh eh. that part's a little bit of a bummer but the game's really cool it had a few like hiccups in the frames and all of that and i have a decent rig so a game like this should have ran mostly pretty well but other than some of those technical hiccups, I think it did fairly well sharing um, this, like, look at this dad who's just trying to get back to his family and all this struggle he's going through. And I, I think it makes sense. It's like, oh, here it is. But how are we supposed to understand, right? Like, if put yourself in his shoes. He doesn't know what's going on. He just knows, okay, this does this and this does that. And I'm just going to keep going and try and find them. There's a few story beats that I'm a little like, eh, why would you leave that shelter? Why would you do this? But okay. How his family, I guess because his family ended up being taken at the bell tower, that's why they were there, right? Well, the dog's back, and we made it back to our home. So that's cool. How that dog survived everything, I don't know. But I'm glad he did. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, as we sit here on a black screen now, it's loading. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. In the comments, let me know. Did you like the way I did this where I chopped it up into little 30-minute episodes without as much cutting, without as much for, like, less intro, less outro, and just sort of... Here's the game. I feel like it works for a game like this, where it's just this big uh, story that you wanna that you wanna take in. But let me know. Would you prefer it to be maybe like an hour long with some actual like, okay, I'll see you guys next time, all that stuff, or which did you like it this way? Maybe some games this way and some games the other way. Let me know in the comments below. But until next time, this has been Somerville. I'm your host, Sight Coffee. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.